In high school, I joined the Columbia Science Honors Program, and that framed for me the model of what a university should be and is. Thomas Campbell Jackson, School of Public Health, Class of 98. Well, there was a time when I was working for the mayor's office in the city of New York. We had a great team there, and one of my colleagues was the late Dr. Stephen N. Rosenberg. He was the medical director to the program, and he was also on faculty at the Melman School of Public Health. When I graduated, I was recruited to be the, the director of the city's health benefits program, uh, which I'm sure would not have happened had I not taken my degree at Columbia. You may think you don't have time for engagement, but it's actually one of the best things you can do for your career. I found myself being asked to join the Alumni Association, and then at some point, not too long after, I became the president of that, and um, I enjoyed it so much I got more engaged. Eventually, uh, Dean Linda Freed asked me to join the Board of Overseers of the school. So the more I showed up at events and spoke to students one-on-one, -on -one, potential students, current students, and recent graduates, the more I saw that I had something to offer them. The degree is a very expensive one. Uh, the career is not always a, a lucrative or remunerative one. I was pleased when I was able to help the Alumni Association um, sort of jumpstart its uh, fundraising for scholarships. For anybody who thinks that their experience was limited to one particular school at the university, I, I'd encourage them to come out and see what the CAA is about and realize that you're part of an enormous community here at Columbia. So I spent a lot of time actually working in projects that, that communicate science to a non-science audience. And the first movie I was exposed to was a sort of a biopic about a scientist who worked at Columbia about 100 years ago. Somehow connected me with the, the history of, of the place. And we also enjoyed uh, shooting the facade of this building with a biblical quote from, from Job, uh, speak to the earth and it will teach you. Torch thy children's lamps to kindle. Uh, being on the stage with President Bollinger and, and Ban Ki-moon and the other honorees and looking out at that sea of blue and white uh, is not something I expect to be able to reproduce anytime soon for sheer emotion and production value. Storms of time abide, stand Columbia on.